What is going on guys and welcome back to another play review. We are going to be looking at Zaydu Dumbia because he only goes for 6 to 7k. Now some people might still find that expensive. I have no idea but 6 7k should be just fine. He is cheap but nowhere near as expensive as Storage yesterday. And I saw a couple of people wanting me to compare him to Storage from yesterday and I thought why not. This guy looks very overpowered for his rating and by looking at his in-game stats he has all the attributes that matter for how oriented this game is when it comes down to pace and dribbling. So, if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETONY to get 5% off. If you want Microsoft points or PSN cards, check out G2A. Their link will also be in the description and use the code ETONY for a discount. Now, I'm going to let you guys know right from the beginning who is better, Storage or Dumbia. And I'm going to have to give it to Dumbia right away because as soon as I start playing with this guy, he is faster. He has a better shot on him. He is weaker though. Keep that in mind. That's the only con I could find about him. He's weaker than storage. But overall, this guy is better in every way. So let's begin with his shooting. If you think he has bad long shots, think again because I scored a couple with him. And also what's more interesting about him is his shots dip. So for a cheap player, I did not expect that. And he definitely is capable of shooting and it dips right behind the keeper, which is amazing because that's exactly how you would like to score your long shots in this game because a lot of them, the keeper just saves them, but if you have a dipping shot, then it makes it so much easier to score long shots. Amazing pace. This guy is a lot faster than storage. Um, by looking at his pace, it doesn't. It's, there's not that much difference, but he feels a lot more different in-game. He feels a lot more agile than what his in-game stats are showing. He doesn't seem that stiff at all. And also in his in-game stats, it shows he has around 70 agility. What the fuck is that about? Seriously, if you just by watching this video, you could easily see he doesn't seem that stiff. He is actually very agile for a player with 70 agility. And he is really good at dribbling. You'll see me getting surrounded by defenders and still find a way out with Dumbia because he's not stiff at all. He seemed very agile to me and dribbling wise he's up there with one of the best. Now 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot makes this guy even more fun. Unlike storage he doesn't have 4 and 4 but Dumbia very cheap he has 4 and 4 and I have to say it really comes to help with when he's trying to finish with his left foot in the penalty area or if you're a skiller this guy's gonna be even more fucking overpowered than he already is. Finishing in the penalty area was very easy with Dumbia. You will see me from kickoff running into the penalty area because of how fast he is. And overall, just you should be finishing all your opportunities with him if you know how to finish in FIFA 15. Now, the only con I could find about him is if defenders are still trying to bully you off the ball, it's quite easy to do that with Dumbia. He is quite weak. So that's the only con I could find about him. But he has good shooting, amazing pace, the finesse shots are good, finishing is really good, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills, awesome dribbler and he is cheap in my opinion, 6 to 7k is cheap guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you didn't I'd really appreciate a like, let me know in the comment section below if you have tried uh, Dumbia, what did you think of him because I think a lot of people would have and I definitely recommend to try him out if you can't afford a very expensive team. So. Dumbia gets a 9.7 out of 10.